Hello YouTube and uh, thanks for watching my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Sideshow Premium Format Cable Statue. Uh, this statue came out a couple of months ago and uh, he's been pretty much praised throughout. I think everyone unanimously really likes this statue and I believe uh, one person even nominated it as their statue of the year. Um, it's well warranted but as one who hasn't owned every statue that came out this year, I'd find it, you know, hard to uh, agree with that or disagree with it. Either way, uh, let's uh, review this uh, Cable. Now, this is a comic book version of Cable. Uh, XM Studios some years ago did a, uh, like a realistic looking Cable. And uh, people love them. And it's a really cool looking piece. Um, uh, however, if you want to get that statue, you're... You're gonna pay fourteen, fifteen hundred bucks plus shipping uh, on eBay if you wanted him. And, and this wasn't cheap. This was a very expensive piece at Sideshow. Uh, one that I jumped on the bandwagon very, very early on, um, and I'm glad I did because this was worth every penny and worth the wait. Uh, it is probably the best statue that I own. At least my favorite statue uh, to date. And uh, there is very little to complain about here. Uh, he is big not just height wise yeah he's pretty tall uh but he's in like an overall big piece with not so much steps he's weighty uh he's got a lot going on and uh there's very little to not like about him so let's start with uh, the base as usual uh the base is actually uh pretty cool it looks like uh Xavier school of of uh, gifted children as well. It's got an X Men themed base and it has um, uh, Xavier's uh, helmet broken in there. It's got Wolverine's cowl in there somewhere and it looks like it's been, uh, he traveled through time and half of it has burned off. Uh, there's a lot of uh, going on. There's a lot of rubble, there's a lot of bricks, there's some steel uh, here. Uh, there's a lot happening on this base, and it all looks very, very good. It's got a lot of different colors. It's got some golds, browns, blacks, greens. I mean, there's a lot going on on this base. Uh, it's a hard base to really appreciate because you can't really get a good look at it. You know, once uh, Cable's on it, it's hard to appreciate everything that's happening on this base. But uh, nonetheless, it's a very, very cool base. Uh, it's pretty wide. Uh, not overly so, but it, it is pretty wide. It is, however, very heavy. And moving this statue is a little bit of work. Um, but the, the base itself is uh, pretty cool. Uh, a little bit on the bigger side, but not bad. It's got a lot going on. Uh, but it, it's very well executed, and it looks really, really good. And uh, in terms of the way it's balanced, because of the weight, it's, it is balanced very well. Uh, so it will sit uh, nice and even. Uh, as far as uh, Cable himself, again, he is uh, very comic accurate. So he's got the blue and the uh, bright blue and the bright yellows with a ton of weathering. I mean, you can see all of the battle marks on this bad boy. I mean, he has been through some stuff uh, and it looks amazing. Uh, the boots are rugged. It's got the uh, X right here on the boots, if you can uh, tell on my crappy camera. Uh, it's got some weathering on them. They're like rugged. They almost look like uh, winter boots, if you will. Uh, all of the armor plating around his outfit looks outstanding. The, the knee guards, uh, I mean, they're, they're, this guy wears some pad. And then as you move up through his body, you'll notice he's got a lot of pouches with some weaponry, some ammunition, and that's all very, very well done. Uh, as you continue to move up, he's got the belt lines uh, that hold down all of his accessories. That looks amazing. And then he's got big shoulder pads, which again is comic book accurate, uh, which makes his head look smaller. So I've heard some complaints that the head may be uh, not sized properly. It absolutely is. But he's got shoulder pads that make it look smaller. So his head is to scale and it looks outstanding. Uh, then you move on to his guns. Oh my god, his guns. They're ridiculous. Um, they're all they're silver. So there's not a lot of color variation 
um, the guns. And since he's coming through a portal, the back part of this gun has been cut off. Uh, the portals are actually very well done, and they're very thick. Now they don't, they're not cheap. They're resin. There's no plastic to them. They're actually weighty. They're built well. They sit properly. They key in well. Uh, nothing wrong with these uh, time portals that he's coming through. Uh, but the guns themselves are really well done. They have a lot of detail to them. Uh, this gun is massive. I mean, it, it's attached to the arm, his uh, cybernetic arm, uh, and it's all one piece. Uh, so it's pretty heavy. Uh, it, it keys into his uh, right here by his shoulder and then the shoulder pad helps hide the seam line so it looks very very well it's it's well executed by sideshow they did a really really good job um, his cybernetic arm looks really 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 good he's even got some got some cloth that it, uh, attaching uh, right next to his gloves and that looks really well done as well uh, really nothing to complain about the guns are unbelievable the gun on his right arm is a little smaller, also silver with some weathering. Uh, I don't remember the guns on the comics, so I don't know if there was any more color to them other than just silver. But these are just silver uh, with some very, very good detail to them. And uh, they look good. They look really, really, really good. So uh, no, no complaints there. His uh, face sculpt is really good. Again, my camera is limited, um, but... If you get to go on Sideshow's website, take a look at it. It looks outstanding. Uh, his hair looks really good. He's got silver hair, just like he does in the comics. He's an older gentleman. Um, his He's got the scar in his eye that looks like a star. Uh, and then his uh, left eye is, I guess he's blind on that eye. That's all uh, white. And then he's got, obviously, his earpiece. Uh, it looks really, really, really good. He looks uh, like Cable, you know, very much like Cable. Uh, this one came with uh, his, uh, like a cape um, that actually I had trouble putting in in the beginning. So I put him away and I didn't display him with it. And then I went back and I got the box, box back out and I put him in properly. And I think it looks great. Uh, initially, I was going to display him without it, but I think it completes the look. It gives him a much fuller sense. Uh, so... That's how I went. Some people choose to display them without uh, the cape and also without the time portals. I like the time portals. I think it goes well with the piece. So I have no issue. Uh, the exclusive uh, comes with the uh, Deadpool uh, hand, arm, reaching out with his little friendship Deadpool doll. Now, again, I, my camera is poor. It doesn't do a good job. But if you can see right here, there's your little Deadpool doll. That and the Deadpool arm coming through the portal, it adds that little bit of uh, you know extra to the statue. I don't think it's a must-have. So if you can get the regular version, which is sold out already on Sideshow's website, uh, the regular version is fine, but it's only an extra few bucks to get the exclusive. So I always choose to go with the exclusive because it just makes more sense. Uh, and if you go to resell it, you're gonna get more money for it. So uh, again, this statue is really well done. Uh, paint sculpt uh everything's done outstanding uh i really don't have any complaints um the only issue would be that he's maybe a little wide on his uh, upper torso uh but that's just me uh and he is very very muscular uh but it looks really well done uh, all the folds on his pants all the folds on his top uh look really really good really lifelike he's got different textures that make him feel much more realistic. All of the accessories, all the pouches look really, really, really good. There's some weathering to them. Um, the paint is flawless. I mean, it's, it's almost perfect. The, all the lines are very well defined. There's no paint bleeds. Uh, it just looks really, really well done. Again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you take a magnifying glass of this or if you take a flashlight and you look closely, you're going to find some imperfections. Uh, they're all kind of hand painted and they're all... They're all a little bit different, but uh, overall, it's really, really well made. And in my opinion, it is uh, the best cable on the market right now, especially if you want something true to the comics. Now, I know the XM piece is popular, and a lot of people like it, and I can see why uh, when you compare the two. Someone did a video side-by-side -side on YouTube. I forgot the guy's name, but uh, it's worth worth looking at. Uh, 
and I believe he chose this one over the X Time Studios one, and this is a lot cheaper if you can get it. Uh, but again, it's really, really well made. It looks as good, if not better, than the prototype that Sideshow had. Uh, if you're thinking about getting this statue and you're able to get it, by all means, you should uh, buy it. Uh, till next time, YouTubers, thank you for watching. Take care.